Hello friends and welcome back to Generation Pixel and if you're new to the channel well you're in for a treat because it's time for the Nintendo Adventures. That's the series where this old guy here, this old Scottish guy, gets to experience NES and Super Nintendo games for the very first time. And who decides on the games I play? Well, you do. Well, you do if you send in a suggestion for me to play. And this week it's going to be a double header because Super Nintendo, fantastic guy, fantastic channel, he has suggested two games to play and one is Skyblazer and the other is Runsaber. Now I have no idea what these games are like and I'm about to play them for the very first time. I don't know if they're going to be NES hard or not but we're going to find out after these titles. Okay, so this is a recommendation from Super Jim Tendo. It's a Sony game, so quite happy to be playing a Sony game on a Nintendo console. And I've never played it. It's, as I say, a game that I've been asked to play by Super Nintendo. Super Jim Tendo, sorry, and he's Raglan, Lord of Darkness, King of Destruction, and Sky Blazer. Now, I have no idea what I'm getting myself in for, except this is the first Super Nintendo game that I'll have played on the series, so it's a first for the Nintendo Adventures. Don't have a password because never played it, and I'll just have to start and hopefully work out what I'm supposed to do as I go along. Okay. Alright, two attacks, I jump, and I climb, so this is like Strider. So far, so good. Oh, spikes. Didn't notice the spikes. Schoolboy error, people. Now, all oh, right, I run out of that. Now I know, I run out of that super attack, which is annoying, but hey, what are you going to do? Right, there we go, those spikes. I'm not going to miss those spikes again. And can I just drop down yet and do some karate? And what's the lightning bolts on this guy? That's odd. Now, graphically, it's, it's what you'd expect from a Super Nintendo. And uh, there we go, I die. Hopefully that's just first life. not going to use up all that sort of mystic energy that I've had. Oh, I think I missed something back there. Now, I don't think it's quite as fluid as I remember Strider being. So come on Sony, up your game here. Oh, an eyeball killed me that time. I managed to get through that last time. So here we go. Back into it. No, I saw the spikes, I saw the spikes as I jumped on them. Just plain stupidity. Right, let's kill this fungus plant thing. Oh, I didn't get that. But I can... No, waste, waste, waste. My own fault, yeah. Oh, the lightning things put the... The pillar's on fire, that's interesting. Now I can go down by the looks of things, so... Get that bottle of... Whatever it is. If I so desire, I suppose. I'm terrified to go... I don't want to... There we go, we got it. And let's just keep going. Clear the spikes. Jumping's quite fluid, quite nice. Those eyeballs are a nuisance. Kill him! Obviously cultists. And moving on to another stage. 
Oh, boss fight. Right, I saved all my... Well, who's he got? Hmm. You will soon be a faithful servant of my master. Wait, you've got a master? Well, he just killed me there. Really? Did he just kill me or is that a cutscene that's unavoidable? Please tell me it was a cutscene that was unavoidable. That's... Okay. Rouse yourself, well, There are greater problems than your petty pains. What well, was that a tutorial level, the first level? Must stop Ashura. He has captured the young sorceress, Ariana. You have not the power to save her. Well, fair enough. Why well, you barely survived a single battle? Well, that's also true. Do you know who I am? I am known as Sky. Right, okay, I'm getting sick of your story. So I'm just going to scoot through it. Sorry, Jim Tendo, if you enjoy this story, but this is just too long for the type of game that it is. Unless, of course, it's giving me some... Right, this mystic pattern will help preserve my quest. So there's the password system. Oh my goodness. Can't you give us simple letters and words? You're going to have us put on symbols on some sort of chessboard. Oh. Right, here we go. Come on. Let's get back into the game. Because we're, what, five minutes in? Oh, so we have an overworld map. I don't think I controlled that there. I did press a button. But I didn't press any buttons to go into the, the map. So here we go again. Really, I'm not enjoying his sticky jump. Now there's people up top. Don't have a double jump. Got watch for everything. There's a big gem. Now yeah, I can jump through the tree, that's quite handy, good to know. I can also just get beat by the flowers, the funny eyeball flowers. Now I want up there. Because I want that one up! No, I said I want that one up. <laughs> there we go, and on that, and I just fell to my death. Because it fell away. Oh, it just it looks like blossom or something in the trees. I wish I had a double jump. I really wish I had a double jump. Maybe that's something that I'll acquire later on in the game. But at the moment, I am this game is absolutely begging for a double jump. And you fall through the tree. That you know what? That's a nice touch. You can land on the tree, but you've got to keep in motion. And it's fairly fast and fluid, but, you know, seriously, it leaves a gem for you there just to fall to your death. Again, it's cheap stuff like that I don't like. Right, no, I want to go up the trees because... Obviously, I don't want to fail those double jumps. Or just fail any jumps whatsoever. Oh, I think I'm on my last life. Yeah, I just the combat's not really satisfying either. I suppose I've got to be judging whether it's NES hard or not. And you know what? It's difficult enough. It's it's got some unique traits like the I don't know. Jumping through the trees is like jumping through quicksand just to say that you can't just stand on the branches, you're continually going down and sticking to the wall with the jump, not quite satisfying either. Right, so I'm going to use some of my magic here because I just want to see if I can get through a little bit more. And let's face it, that magic... Right. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I don't know how much of that magic I've got. That's a problem. But it will make a difference. Oh no, that wasn't my last life. This is the last life. And there you go, that's sticky. It's just... I'm, it's not satisfying. This is definitely one I won't come back to. It's not, it's not going to capture my interest for a great deal of time. 
I'm not sure it's as much NES hard as it is, maybe a little cheap in places. Maybe it's just my old reflexes and I can't get to grips with it. But you know what, there you go. So thank you Super Nintendo for recommending this game. So the next game up that's that I'm going to be playing, as I says, it's again recommended by Super Jim Tendo. It's an Atlas game, and Atlas are such a fab fabulous developer. So I'm looking forward to this one because, well, the last one that Super Jim Tendo recommended, well, it, I'm sorry, Jim, but it just wasn't that good, or at least it wasn't that good in my opinion. And let's face it, they're all our opinions video games. So yeah, having having a look at this opening intro here. Very dark and mysterious. Now we're getting some Robocop Project Saber. Trying to yeah, trying to see the roots of Atlas. Obviously Atlas have went on from strength to strength. Run Saber. Fantastic. Lovely wee intro. And just up the audio there on the recording of this gameplay. So we'll get some sort of futuristic stuff. Let's just get cracking in with the game. And hopefully Jim has picked a better one for me to play this week. So the Taj base. Right, okay, so uh, super power used already because I don't know the game. Jim definitely has his has his style of game, his type, and he loves these Strider running bash. <laughs> right, so far this one much more fluid than his last recommendation and yeah it's smoother graphically I prefer it as well I don't know why I think I don't know all the trees in the last one just put me off I mean I liked I liked the little you know you got the the trees that you sort of slip through How's the climbing in this? It's a, it's a little bit more satisfying. Oh, oh, oh. That's good. Blowing up the scenery. Let's kill these earthworm gym looking guys. Yeah, oh, the climbing's... The animation, at least for the climbing, so much better. Jump's more satisfying and bigger the jump as well. I, mean, I was begging for a, a second jump, a double jump in the last game that he recommended, but it wasn't to be and what was that again? That was Skyblazer. Oh, hanging from the ceiling, good. Just still, still trying to get to grips with it now, so I'll probably be able to take, take out these guys, which is handy. Because there we go. No, just some of the controls could be a little tighter, like dropping. And working out, of course, that there's different jumps. That's quite nice. So down does that lovely downward kick. Up does that sort of spinning attack. So there's, there's multiple attacks in this one as well, which is quite cool. Can I break the crates? No, I can't break the crates. So, the jump attack's cool, quite like that. Could have done with that and Skyblazer or whatever it was again. Now, I don't know whether I'm supposed to just be taking on all these guys or not. Or just getting on with the game. There's that kick downwards. Okay. 
it has a nice slight touch. I do, I do tend just to want to kill every enemy sprite on the screen though, which is probably a failing in my part in some of these games. And I, have, I, I think that was a death there. I get this nice little large arrow up at the top of the screen showing me which way to go, which is also nice. And this looks like a boss fight. And right, so. So that didn't help me. Right, so I had to beat him like that first. Now do I still have one of these? Cause I wanna I wanna get through as much as I can on these short playthroughs for the first time. And there we go. First sort of mini boss done. And the arrow's pointing me in the direction to go. Oh, don't tell me it's like now it's the real boss. And that would be a death. Yeah, I'm going to continue with this one. Um, I don't normally continue, but this is slightly different. And again, being a Super Nintendo game, I'm struggling here with these guys. Struggling. And I shouldn't be. I really shouldn't be. I should just be swinging along now. There we go, we'll have some of this stuff. And I want that lightsaber looking thing. Obviously not a lightsaber, because George Lucas would have sued the pants off from back in the day. Right, and that'll be an extra life, that'll come in handy too. So up we go. Now the climbing, yeah, the climbing in this one is much better. Um, probably still not as fluid as... Strider. I might get rid of that. Do I have to shoot the bombs? Oh, is that like a woman? I wasn't paying attention. It is, it's like, like a mermaid type thing coming out the wall. That's pretty sweet. Why, why is she not dying? Die! Look, this will kill her, right? Yay! Thank God I had the special. And here we go along again. Is that, uh, is this is a boss fight or a mini boss fight coming. Alert, alert. Do I get in the plane? That would be cool. <laughs> Does the plane take off? Do I fight on the plane? <laughs> okay, this is quite amusing. Um, yeah, and I have to hold on as I go upside down. Do I have to attack this plane? Should I be? F I should be. Oh no, no, it's going to send enemies at me. That's fair enough. Where's the next sort of enemy coming from? Does he come from there? Yeah, get a tail. This this is a fantastic boss fight. This is so interesting. So unusual. Don't know where the next one is though. But that, oh, here he comes out. This, the main boss, I would imagine. Yeah, we'll just do some of those spinny attacks. I like those spinny attacks. And we're going to have to hold on soon. Can I get back on the plane? Yeah. Oh, and there's a death, but... Super power him because you know what? I am enjoying this fighting on the jet plane. That's jet fighter. <laughs> really interesting concept. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. So Jim, you are getting a big thumbs up for introducing this game. I'm not sure it's one I would put a great deal of time into, but just having seen that boss fight is more than enough for me to say well done Super Nintendo. That was that was absolutely fantastic. So I'll play on just a little bit, just have a look at the next level. Graphics again. Get some ninja ninja gaiden going here. Terracotta soldiers coming to life. Quite nice, nice little touch. Combat Again, it's, it's okay. It's better than the Sky Blazer or whatever it was one. I like the climbing in this one. It's it's okay. It's still not as good as Strider. I mean, that might just be a nostalgia thing though. Music, I haven't really been paying attention to the music, but it's it's, it's okay. 
I'm sure I have to beat this thing. No? Don't have to beat this thing, just have to get past it? Yeah, you had to beat those things up. And as I say, it shows you where you're going. Now, I'm not going to keep this video going too much longer because, well, I've had my fun, and to be honest with you, the, the fun, without a doubt, was was that boss fight. I have never fought... I don't know. I'm going to assume it's an F-14 Tomcat because that's what age I am, and that will definitely put an age on me, and what a boss fight that was. So I'm going to leave the gameplay here and... Let's go to the outro. So there you have it my friends, two games from the Super Nintendo suggested by Super Jim Tendo. Now, that's quite a mouthful I know, but we had a look at the games, or I certainly had a look at the games, and they were pretty similar. Now, obviously that boss fight against the, the jet fighter, the F-14 Tomcat, that's what I'm going to pretend as anyway. That was fantastic. The first game, well, not so much, it wasn't quite my cup of tea, but it's obvious that Super Jim over there, he's got a thing for Strider-like games, so... Good for him, but for me, not so much. But it was nice to play a couple of games that I haven't played before. Now, of course, if you're watching this and you want to talk about the games I've just played, then hit me up down in the comments. Now, I didn't play the games for very long, as you can tell. Should I play them longer? If you think I should play them longer, leave that in the comments. But more importantly, the comments that I really want to hear from you are games to play. Hit me up with any suggestions for NES or Super Nintendo games that I should play for the very first time. Now, you can look back at the previous videos to see what games I've covered already, and trust me when I say that is all the Super Nintendo and NES games that I have ever played, well certainly any length of time. So. In the comments, let me know what you want me to play. Now if you've enjoyed this video as always, why don't you throw me a thumbs up because one, it helps the channel grow and two, well it makes me happy too to know that you guys out there enjoy this old fool playing Nintendo games as well as other games because also if you want to see more well that subscription button it's always there it's always free and you can always change your mind so thank you very much for watching and until next time cheerio